Welcome at my paint shop. Today I'm doing a little quick tip video on how to remove these rotor cranks. It's a little bit different to Shimano or SRAM cranks, but if you know how to do it, it's not as difficult as it seems. So let's check the tools we need and then I'd like to show you how to remove the cranks and how to reinstall them. These are all the tools you need. An 8mm Allen wrench, the Shimano cassette lock ring tool, if you have an adapter for the Allen wrench so you can use it together with the lock ring tool. And if you don't have this adapter, you can use also an adjustable wrench like this. What you also need is a soft mallet and to reinstall the crank set, a torque wrench with an 8mm Allen nut. The first thing to do is to remove the 8mm Allen screw on the drivetrain side. So I will use the Allen wrench and sometimes these screws are tight as hell. So what I will do is I will use the left pedal. I will put it onto my table so I can push the bike through towards the table and I can stabilize it and make sure you have enough muscle grease in your upper arms. So good luck. Sometimes they are so tight and if you can't get it loose, maybe you can ask your granny if she lends you her peg leg as an extension for the Allen wrench. And yep, <laughs> don't seem that I have to ask my granny. So let's remove the screw and come a bit closer because there's a self-extracting cap inside the crank crankset. And that's what we need now to uh, remove the crankset from the bearing. And yeah, that's what I like to show you. Use the Shimano cassette lock ring tool to screw out this cap. Sometimes it's also a bit tight. And all you have to do is you have to turn it around to extract the crank set. So Screw in the 8mm screw. And you don't have to screw in too tight. If it hits the crank, it's enough. And now use the self extracting ring. Don't forget to turn it around. And screw it again onto the crank set. Not too tight, using your hands is enough. So that's good enough. And now you can use again the Allen wrench to extract the crank from the bearing. And you see it gets loose. Yeah, and that's it. In some cases you have to use the soft mallet to remove the left crank arm. But in my case it seems that I can push it through without using the mallet. So wish me luck. Ah, it fits too tight. So what you can do is, you can use an extension like this and give it some good taps with the mallet. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it, the left crank arm. On the left crank arm and the axle is also this ring fixed with a 2mm Allen screw. So you can get it loose with a 2mm Allen wrench. And this ring is used to adjust the width of the axle so you can fit your crankset nice and snug to the bearings. But if you like to install the crankset, you have to turn it towards the crank arm because we have to adjust the width later. And now I'd like to show you how to reinstall these cranksets and how to do all in reverse. I have to use also these spacers. Maybe you have them as well. And if you don't have them, maybe you have some ceiling rings for the bearings. So don't forget to mount them first. 
mount the spacers or the ring for the bearing, the seal for the bearing, and now let's do all in reverse. Don't forget to mount the spacers or bearing seals on the right side as well. And now we have to remove the self-extracting cap. And we have to turn it around. So remove the cap, also the screw. Turn it around and reinstall it. Not too tight, using your hands as a mouth. And here, if it hits the crank, that's perfect. Now reinstall the crank arm, but be careful with the chain ring. And make sure you have the right position of both crank arms, 180 degree. So make sure to check the position. And now use the Allen wrench to tighten the Allen screw but not too tight because we have to tighten it with a torque wrench and maximum 35 to 40 newton meter. And that's all we have to do on the drivetrain side. And the last thing to do is we have to adjust the ring on the left side to fit our crank set nice and snug to the bearings. All you have to do on the left side is turn the adjustment ring until it's nice, tight and snug. And secure it with the 2mm Allen screw. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you like my videos. If you're into custom painting, check also my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.